All right, we're in section 2.4, where we are going to multiply real numbers. For the most part, this is a review of pre-algebra concepts. So, the first thing we're going to take a look at is what, um, what sign you get um, when you multiply two real numbers. So you're either going to be multiplying two positive numbers, two negative numbers, or one positive and one negative. So if we look at the first examples here, it says the product of two numbers with the same sign is positive. So if you're multiplying two positive numbers together, like five times nine, that equals a positive 45. Same thing if there were two negative numbers. So if I had a negative 5 times by negative 9, that is also going to equal a positive 45. Now, the second statement there, it says the product of two real numbers with opposite signs is negative. So if, like in this scenario right here, where I have a negative 5, I multiply it by a positive 9, that's going to give me a negative 45. And same thing if the negative goes towards the 9. So if it's a positive 5 multiplied by a negative 9, that also equals a negative 45. And multiplying comes with certain properties, just like uh, addition. So the first property we have is the commutative property of multiplication. Uh, the commutative property of multiplication states that if you have some number a and you're multiplying it by some number b, that's going to equal the, the flip of it, so b times a. So I know that 45, 4 times 5 equals 20, and I also know that 5 times 4 equals 20. I know that because of the commutative property. The associative property states that if you have a times b, and then you also have another multiplied times c, basically if you choose to multiply the first two numbers or whatever two numbers first, it's going to equal whether you choose the, the second and third number. So if I had, say, if I had something like 2 times 3 times 4, I'm going to choose to multiply 2 times 3 first, which gives me 6 times 4, which equals 24. Or, if I had the same scenario, and I chose to multiply these two values first, 3 times 4 is 12, so I got 2 times 12. 2 times 12 is also 24. So I know this because of the associate property. The identity property states that if you have any number other than 0, that if you multiply it by 1, you're going to get that number. So anything times by 1 is going to be itself. So like 5 times 1 is 5, 8 times 1 is 8, negative 320 times 1 equals negative 320. Uh, the property of 0, it states that any number multiplied by 0 will always be 0. So like 5 times 0 is 0, 135 times 0 is 0, negative one half times zero is going to be zero. And the last one is the property of negative one. The property of negative one states that if you take a number and you multiply it by negative one, you're going to get the opposite value. So if you have five times it by negative one, you're going to get the negative five. Five is the opposite of uh, negative five. So you're always going to get the opposite value. And that is being able to uh, multiply real numbers. Hope this helps. Until next time.